What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at an LED replacement bulb. So this is going to be a replacement for all of your 1141, 1003, and 1156 bulbs. They come in a pack of two, so grab as many as you need. And we are going to have one that's going to be a more cool white color, and then another one's going to be a nice warm light color. So that all just depends on whatever color scheme you all are going with on the inside of your RV. These are going to have about 180 degrees of light coming down, and we have a lot of different diodes on the end there. All in all, LED is the way to go, so let's just get to it. Just to show the difference between the two different color types, as you can see, this one is nice and warm, and then another one's gonna be nice and white. So the white one's gonna be for more so the interiors that are gonna be more gray, more blacks, stuff like that. And then the warm light's gonna be, honestly, for this RV, we have a lot of tan colors going on on the inside of the RV, especially with the cabinets and stuff. I like the warm light because it reminds me of home. It's kind of a little bit warmer looking. So usually what kind of bulbs you put in your house. These are gonna be more so kind of like that office setting type, just really, really bright. And as you can see, we have white shades here. It really shows off the white there, but with the warm light, it's a little off white. So all just depending on what your tastes are. As far as measurements go, we are gonna have an overall length of about an inch and a half, and the width of this part here is gonna be about a half an inch. And the BA-15S fitting right here is gonna have a length of about three quarters of an inch. So when comparing a basic incandescent bulb with our LED bulb, we're gonna have a lot of big differences, but the most difference we're gonna see is the power. With the 18 diodes on the end here, we're gonna get about 270 lumens, which is about the same as our average bulb here, but the average bulb is gonna pull a lot more power. The LED is gonna be about 0.17 amps, and it is gonna be pulling about 1.9 watts, which isn't a whole lot, about five to six times less than our average filament bulb. But the cool thing about this is this only has one little piece in there that's gonna be lighting up. We have 18 different diodes. So if one decides to go out, we have others that are gonna light it up. But the nice thing about it is there is a surge protector on the inside of this, just in case, whenever you hook up to random RV parks, sometimes you see surges in the electric. So with this one, if it surges, it might pop. With this one, we're gonna have a little protector on the inside of it as well. The nice thing about it is we are gonna be able to dim this LED bulb which some of them you don't see that. So if you have some dimmable features, fixtures inside of your RV, we're gonna be able to dim them with this LED bulb. When it comes to electronic appliances inside of our RV, it all just depends on how much power they're drawing. We really need to pay attention to that. Yes, it's a bulb, it's not gonna take a whole lot, but the difference between a normal bulb and an LED bulb is kind of significant, and we have dozens of bulbs inside of our RV. So converting all of them to LED is gonna help just because we don't know what kind of power we're gonna be able to hook up to depending on where we are at. Maybe it, one of the plugs that we usually use don't work, so we have to power down from what we're used to using. So that's really where it kind of shines. These LEDs are gonna pull a lot less, and that's definitely good. And they're also gonna last a lot longer. So compared to our normal filament bulb, this one is going to last about 50,000 hours, which is a lot. So you're gonna get a lot of different uses out of them. Other than that, I'm just gonna let you know my opinion. LED is the way to go. Don't buy these, buy some sort of LED bulb. We have a lot here at eTrailer, so just go ahead, figure out how many you need, go on our website, buy as many as you need, put them in, and start saving your energy. Other than that, that's pretty much it for our look at the LED spot bulb, and I'm Adam with eTrailer.